But hey, super serious. Here's something you might not have guessed about me. I am a stand-up comedian. <laughs> now, as a stand-up comedian, I get to do fascinating things each and every night of the week, like fail. <laughs> but recently, I got to do something even more fascinating than that. I got to watch myself doing comedy on television. <laughs> Calm down. And while doing that, two issues sprang to my mind. They were, in no particular order, A, do I really look that fat? And B, do I really sound that gay? <laughs> I don't know what my voice sounds like. In my head, my voice sounds normal. It sounds regular. It is a vanilla upon which my genius is dappled like so many Sunday toppings. <laughs> I don't think that when people hear my voice, they say to themselves, damn, he sure must like Gossip Girl. Similarly, I never really thought about what I looked like. I always figured I must look about how I feel, like a young Courtney Cox. <laughs> then reality came crashing towards me in the form of that video. I really wish I sounded fat and looked gay. <laughs> you know, like Jodie Foster. But I see you sitting there judging me. Say, but guy, but guy, you're not worried about it. Why not do something about it? Why not lose the weight? Isn't being attractive more important than any pleasure food can potentially bring you? The trouble, audience, is that I don't know if love really exists, but I'm certain that really good pastrami does. <laughs> Plus, a sandwich won't give me gonorrhea.